Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Hello, wrestling fans and sports collectors. This is Tom from Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Today, I'm counting down the top five prices paid for professional wrestling video games. These could be for any system, NES, Atari, PlayStation, Sega Genesis, N64, sealed, raw, graded, you name it. As long as the sale is of a wrestling video game, it is eligible for this list. So let's start with the criteria for this video. For a sale to be included in the top five, it has to be an eBay auction. I only look at sales from auctions as I feel that represents the true market for collectibles, and eBay is the biggest auction house. Second, the auction has to be legitimate. While it's possible that legitimate sales appear in my top five lists, I do everything I can not to include them. I do not include auctions that have unregistered users recording bids, for example. Third, this top five only includes professional wrestling video games. And finally, I am only including sales from February or March from 2024. Coming in at number five is a sealed and graded copy of WCW Mayhem from 1999 on the N64, which sold for $306. This video game is graded 9.8 by WADA with A plus as a subgrade, which I believe is for the seal. Why is this valuable? In this instance, I think it is about condition. Loose copies of the game only sell for a few dollars each, but this one is graded an almost perfect 9.8 A plus. It is also an attractive box cover. If you're a Goldberg fan, this would be a collectible you might want. Goldberg is snarling on the cover and it looks fantastic. Or if you're a video game fan or a WCW fan or a pro wrestling fan, this would also be an object you would want to own. The WADA label also says made in Japan. I'm not sure if that makes this game more or less special. Viewers, if you know, please leave a comment and inform us. Coming in at number four is just amazing box art for a video game, 1990s World Championship Wrestling for the Nintendo Entertainment System, which sold at auction for $389. This copy is sealed and in great condition, even though it is not graded. What makes this title special outside of its rarity in this condition is the fact that it depicts the Road Warriors and other real pro wrestling stars. This was back when World Championship Wrestling was part of the NWA, or the National Wrestling Alliance, and video games rarely featured licensed stars. This is the only video game to ever be associated with the NWA. It includes playable characters of Ric Flair, Sting, Lex Luger, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, and both Road Warrior Hawk and Road Warrior Animal. Coming in at number three is 1990s Tecmo World Wrestling for the Nintendo Entertainment System, sealed and graded 9.4 A plus by WADA, which sold at auction for $465. Remember how I said most wrestling video games in the 80s and early 90s featured generic wrestlers as opposed to licensed superstars? Case in point. Notice, however, that some of the fictional characters bore staggering resemblances to real-life wrestlers. One of the combatants on the box of Tecmo World Wrestling looks a lot like Animal from the Road Warriors, for example. What makes this title special is the condition. Sealed NES games are rare, and this one is graded a 9.4 A+, which is quite high for a game from 1990. Also, the box art is fantastic, even though the wrestlers are fictional. Coming in at number two is another WCW N64 game, this time 2000's Backstage Assault, graded 8.5 A by WADA, which sold for $505. This is the rare gray cart variant. Most copies of the game have a blue cartridge, but some copies from Mexico and South America were instead on a gray cartridge. I'm not sure how they know the cartridge is gray while the box is sealed, but apparently they can tell, and the fact that the WADA label states Latin American version indicates that this copy is the gray cart variant. Given that the gray cartridge loose can sell for $100 or more, $505 for a sealed and graded copy seems like a good pickup. 
Perhaps there is not as much of a premium since you cannot see the cartridge itself. And coming in at number one is 1986's Tag Team Wrestling for the NES, a mint complete copy sold for $660. This game is special because it is a five-screw cartridge. When the NES was first released in North America, some of the first copies used circuit boards from the Japanese Famicom system, which were designed for the five-screw layout. After that, Nintendo of America saved money by only using three screws on their cartridges. The early five-screw games are exceedingly rare, especially in mint condition. This tag team wrestling cartridge is beautiful. The colors are bright and clean, the styrofoam and plastic baggies are crisp, the instruction book looks never opened. I can almost smell the new cartridge aroma. This is a time capsule from 1986 for sure. So what do you think of this list? Please leave some comments and let us know. Do you collect wrestling video games currently? Are you thinking about getting into the hobby now? What are your favorite wrestling video games that you didn't see on this list? And as always, thank you for the support. Be good to each other and happy collecting. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Collect a Wrestlepalooza.